Hello, what a gorgeous day. It's so beautiful. So I thought I would try and do a story outside. And I think you might be able to hear the birds. There's a, a lovely collar dove calling. Now, my story today is about a beautiful summer day, a beautiful day like today, when a few hundred years ago, a glass act player called Thomas, Thomas who had a beautiful harp, went outside on this beautiful day and played his harp. Now, he was sitting underneath a hawthorn tree, which was covered in blossom, and the smell of the blossom lulled him into a lovely deep sleep. And while he was lying there sleeping, the fairy queen, who had been listening to his harp playing, came riding over the side of the hill on her beautiful horse. And there was a tinkling of bells, because every strand of the horse's mane had a silver bell attached to it. And the tinkling sound came, and the fairy queen came, and she looked down at Thomas as he lay there sleeping. And she thought, she rather liked him. And so she took him onto the back of her horse, and together they rode and they rode and they rode for a year and a day to distant lands. And when they got there, Thomas was quite hungry. And there was an apple tree, and he reached up and he took up the apple. And he was just about to bite it when the fairy queen said, Now, Thomas, if you should eat while you're here with me in fairy land, you will be under my spell forevermore. And Thomas said, Oh, but I do love the people on earth. And she said, Well, you can come and go. I give you these gifts. You will always play beautiful music and you will be able to write beautiful songs. And you can come and go through fairyland when and wherever you so choose. What beautiful gifts. And so Thomas, to this day, has been coming and going from fairyland. When he sees a fairy mound like this, a nice little green hill, he can go in. And then, if he turns three times, he just chooses where he wants to go. And it's said that he comes to Inverness. Tom Nahurich and Inverness is a fairy mound, and true Thomas has come. And when he wishes to go, he goes back into Tom Nahurich and turns three times and chooses where he wants to go. Well, I know that there's lots of fairy mounds in the highlands, so he's probably been visiting all sorts of places and coming and bringing his special tunes and magic. So, whenever I hear the harp playing, whenever I hear the classic, I often think of that day, that beautiful summer day, when True Thomas had been playing the harp and he fell asleep and the fairy queen did come riding by on her beautiful horse. Can you see her there? And True Thomas and the harp. Well, there we are. That's my story for today. And I hope you heard that. I could hope you could hear some of the birds. There's some little baby birds cheeping. I heard a crow. I heard a collar dove. Enjoy a lovely day. Bye.